Channel 3 Early Warning Weather. All right, the sun in the process of setting right now, and we've got a clear sky, absolutely beautiful all across Connecticut. Uh, feeling again more like late March after that uh, chilly, icy start across Connecticut. There's our eye view from Torrington, the scene from Middletown looking east over Route 9 and the Connecticut River into Portland, and also from southeastern Connecticut, a stunning view coming in from Mystic. So tomorrow we'll start off with some limited sun. Temps will still remain above average, probably not as warm as today, especially through the the daylight hours as our next storm system approaches. Right now, uh, temperatures are on a slow decline. We're in the low to mid 40s in the Northwest Hills. Still 49 Hartford, right at 50 New Haven, 50 currently in Groton. We've got a west northwesterly breeze that will send some cooler air into the state. Uh, so overnight tonight, before cloudiness moves back overhead, temperatures will drop likely to within a couple degrees of freezing. But those clouds off to our southwest advance up in our direction. So uh, as we get into Friday, we're going to be tapping into some really mild air. So temps remain above average. They're just going to go well above as we head into the close of the week Friday. So high pressure briefly in control for now moves offshore, allowing this storm system that's cutting through the middle part of the country through the southern plains into the lower Mississippi River Valley to eventually head up in our direction. This brings a severe weather threat from Arkansas into Louisiana, a tornado watch in effect right now there. Here in Connecticut, we're only expecting some scattered rain showers by tomorrow evening as this area of low pressure takes a track well to our west across the Great Lakes. So future cast showing clear skies this evening. As we head toward daybreak tomorrow, cloudiness begins to overspread the state. So limited sun early tomorrow, otherwise overcast for our Thursday, maybe a brief sprinkle or shower midday, and then we'll see a better chance for some scattered showers toward and after the evening commute tomorrow. It's a quick hitting round. It's out of here 10, 11 o'clock tomorrow night with clearing taking place thereafter. So four highs tomorrow. We're looking at low to mid 40s and mid to upper 40s along the shrine. And these numbers may actually go up a bit as we head past sunset tomorrow evening as a southwesterly flow transports in some, uh, some milder air. Uh, and then for Friday, we're talking about uh, unseasonably warm levels of, of warm air working into Connecticut. Uh, the records for the 10th of February that we've been outlining all week long still in jeopardy of being tied or broken. We're in fact forecasting record warmth for both climate reporting stations uh, for the Hartford area uh, at Bradley Airport, also in Bridgeport, 55 and 54 respectively. If we're able to tie or break the record for Hartford, that is a 114-year-old record that will be uh, going down. Uh, so Friday, we otherwise end the week breezy with plenty of sunshine. Saturday, mostly sunny, cooler, but still mild for this time of year. Highs between 40 and 45. Sunday, we'll start off with some filtered sun uh, and then clouds increase. And we're going to be watching the potential for a coastal storm to kind of graze southern New England. Here's a look at the year, uh, the GFS and the European model. Both timestamps here at 7 o'clock on Monday morning. We're going to be right on the cusp of that rain with maybe a little bit of a wintry mix. So we'll keep you updated. Want to give you the early warning the Monday morning commute uh, could be a little bit wet. Plenty of time to fine tune that, of course. And as we head toward Valentine's Day next Tuesday, uh, mostly sunny, highs near 50, even milder weather on track for next Wednesday, back in the 50s with a, another chance for rain showers late in the day.